This serene sunset started with sunbeams shooting up out of the clouds. Then it tapered off into gentle colors and peaceful reflections. I thought the show finished early, so I left. But then, Mother Nature had a few more surprises for me. This is Owl's Relaxation. We create scenic and relaxing videos. We hope to earn your subscription today. This video is sponsored by people like you. We'll explain later. Wow, it's already amazing out there with these beams going in every direction. I can't wait to see what it looks like from the water. Ooh, we are already seeing the golden glow in between the trees. I see some people are out there already today. Hello, maybe they're leaving already? We've already got color on the horizon. Let's see, camera's not picking it up. There we go, beautiful peach. And coming up on the reveal. Oh, there's those rays. Here we go. Beautiful rays. Lots of cloud potential today. Those beams are starting to be a bit more visible. They're just pretty subtle right now, but beautiful nonetheless. We're near high tide around here right now. So we've got this nice reflection across the entire scene. And I'll show you a panorama of what we've got today. Currently, lots of dark clouds on the left, but no color really yet. And on the right, we also have no color, but we do have some clouds. Those white ones might catch the color later on. So we'll see how this develops as the sun goes down. Has a lot of potential today. Let's connect on social media. Links are in the description. We are starting to get the light hitting that upper level cloud on the left. And it's really nice kind of peach to mauve glow um, on the horizon level. And I love the way it's highlighting the stuff in the distance on the horizon. Let me zoom in and see if you can see. Especially over here, there's a couple towers on the horizon that just kind of look extra nifty in this glowing color. And we are having a buggy kind of day. I can feel them biting my legs now. It's already drove a few different people away. And I hear we have a dog coming in. We have mostly lost the rays. They're super subtle now. And we are not getting a whole lot of light on those upper clouds. I would say it's even less than it was last time but there is a pretty cool cloud shape in there. And the sun is getting a nice gradient as it sets into a hazy cloud on the horizon. There's really not much else going on. I'll give you a quick pan again. Really nothing on the right. Some wispy clouds that hopefully catch color later. A lot of dark clouds over here and even more dark on the left with no color at all. Everything is really happening right here. Unfortunately, that plane is going by as the sun is dropping with a really cool gradient. So I want to zoom in and hopefully show you what I mean. You can also see how many bugs are flying in front of the camera. But that just looks really cool. That's like your classic Florida postcard sun on the horizon. Got a huge flock of birds coming through. Wow. 
That might have been the biggest one I've seen out here. If you'd like to see us create more and better videos like this, please consider helping us with a one-time tip on PayPal, Zelle, or Venmo, or a recurring donation on Patreon. If you're the kind of person who tips a waiter a little extra for brightening your day, or buys dinner for a friend who helped you out, then why not do the same for a video creator? Even just a few dollars helps us cover expenses, hire help, upgrade equipment, and dedicate more time to improving for you. The best thing you can do is become a Patreon supporter. We have many levels to choose from, so you can be first to find out everything we're working on, contribute your ideas to future videos, or get your name in our credits. Links are in the description below, or pause this video and scan a QR code. It's people like you who keep us going, so thank you so much for your support. We're down to just the tip. Disappearing behind the bridge. And it's gone. Now hopefully the real show starts. Four people and two dogs have come and gone because the bugs are so bad. Check out the railing. When we got here, there were no bugs on this railing. And now the railing is covered with them. And look at the vertical post. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And then the bench behind it. Oh, creepy, crawly, disgusting. So with that, I need to stay far away from the wall and leave the camera near the edge. Another nice flop. Tons of birds tonight. That's the third large flop to go by. And just, I don't even see them landing at the usual mouth of the river on the right. They must be flying all the way to the island beyond. I'm gonna give you a panoramic because a lot of time has passed, but not a lot has changed. We never got any more color than this on the right side. And kind of the same story for the left side. There's really nothing going on. And given the amount of bugs are so bad that you can see them blurring in front of the screen sometimes, I don't think this sunset's gonna do anything more. So I'm gonna call it here. Sorry there wasn't much more tonight. A lot of potential went unfulfilled and it's just not worth hanging around with how many bugs you saw. Coming out of that sunset, the, I think, cicadas in the trees are insanely loud. Of course, you can't see the actual thing, but wow. Maybe somebody interesting, bird-wise, will be around the lake. Well, since the sunset wasn't that good, I've been rewarded with my favorite bird over there, the rosate spoonbill. Now, I've got a huge collection of birds over there today, so I wanted to show you this overview shot in case I scared any of them away when I get closer. But what we've got are two Pekin ducks, I think seven female mallards, and a rosate spoonbill. Here we go. We can see the sunset still isn't doing anything but a beautiful scene with our resident two Pekin ducks. And I see at least six female mallards. Oh, the seventh one is over by the drainage pipe. And my favorite bird that's walking away there, the pink roseate spoonbill. A magnificent bird, has the same color as a flamingo, smaller in size, and a spoon-shaped bill. I'll see if I can get closer. If you'd like to be an Owl's Insider, you need to subscribe to our email list, linked in the description below. It's the closest free thing to being our Patreon supporter. They're all quite tolerant of people, and even dogs walking by, as this lake is a frequent dog walking spot, and 
They spend all their time here. The spoonbill, though, is an infrequent visitor, so it may not have the same tolerance as the other birds. Spoonbill is looking for its food in the shallows. It usually wades along the whole edge of this half of the lake. Oh, I'd never seen it make a noise. There, starting to do its wading. I can feel bugs biting me even here, and that is unusual. I think they're all moving away because I got a little bit too close. There is a dragonfly even. There it is. They're all going away. My legs are getting really bit up, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end it here, but look at how beautiful. Not just the birds, but it's just a nice setting. Just when I'm about to go in my door and think nothing is left to see tonight, nature surprises with these colors. If you're enjoying this video, please let us know with a like and subscribe. These are quick, free ways to show your appreciation and tell YouTube this video deserves more views. If you'd like to be notified every time we publish a new video, click the subscribed bell, then select All. So which part was your favorite? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks again to each person who supports us, especially our angel investor Patreon supporters. Learn how to get your name in these credits at our Patreon link in the description. We recommend you watch this video next.